where we are right now is just stunning and it's just it's great i think we're just going to talk so, <laughs> yes, of course. so just here yeah is that all right nice perfect shooting it raw yes shooting it raw uh in this photograph it's uh it's titled when someone messages me about the surf and in the photo, you've got, uh, I guess, now, are you wearing a coat or is that a, no, a it's cap? A wet, it's a wetsuit. It's a wetsuit. And a, uh, it's a wetsuit cap for winter here, yeah. Okay. So uh, how cold is it outside, roughly? It's, it's, it's overkill for Hong Kong, but when you're bald like me, you, your hair mm. gives you a bit of warmth. So I, I like to wear a cap because then I can stay in the water for t two hours or so. Right. The water range in Hong Kong is... You know, one of the widest ranges. In Earth. temperature? Yeah, in temperature. It goes down to like 15 or so and yeah. then up to about 34 or so. Oh, so wow. there's a greater range in Hong Kong than I think a lot of other places on okay. Earth. So it, it's not cold, <clears throat> but um, um, it's def if you want to stay in play for longer, yeah. you put a, you put a, you get yourself warm and sealed. Sure. So sure. you can play longer. So in the photograph, so you, it's a self portrait. You're standing, so above your head is gray skies. There's a tree that's uh, half alive, um, half its leaves are gone. You're standing, uh, you're kind of, you know, you're looking, you're, you're wearing your wetsuit, it's all black, and you're, you're behind you, there's just a little bit of water. You can just see the hints of the water. So why is this that when somebody messages me about the surf? So why is it to tell you about the surf or to ask you about the surf? To ask me about the surf. You know, I might have been communicating with someone back in Australia or someone in Hong Kong. And they'll say, what's the surf like today? And I'll say, it's okay. It's, mm. it's pretty good. And then the next message is always, send me a photo. <laughs> and that's the photo I always send them. Right. Because if they want to, they needed to get on their bike and get out here okay. as well. So I'm not going to send a photo. That alludes to what happens now. And the other photo, the secret spot's not so secret anymore. Mm -hmm. No one used to go out there. Ten years ago, That I'm sorry for jumping photos. No, it's fine, it's fine. When we were on One Shack Pier, before I had my little plastic boat thing, um, we'd be catching speedboats or ferries out yeah. to Tap Moon. Yeah, yeah. And if other people turned up with surfboards, the friends that showed me that place... They used to make me hide behind pylons. We'd hide until those people went past because they were all going to Dalai Lama. Ah, okay, These okay, were okay. old school guys, my right, age, right, who, right. and we tried to not tell everyone. We right. didn't get on our phones and message where we're going, yeah. you know, as we're eating our breakfast or whatever. Sure. We just got there, arranged the boat, hid from other humans, talked, kept, kept our lips really closed, and went out there and surfed three of us for the whole day. Right, right blissfully right whereas now the same place i'll be out there and and i see people turn up and the first thing they do is take a photo of the and surf then share it. and send it to their friends yeah and then that's why now there's 15 or so people surfing right. in a place that used to have three or four people yeah and i'm you know i'm doing it myself now to talk to you about sure, it so sure. it's just around there but, no, but nobody will know well, from the podcast the bubble is the bubble is burst <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it's and and i'm moving and you're moving and i'm a selfish crap ah. you know? and it's like you it, said it you yeah, said it yeah. <laughs> but, but it, no the, it's now no it's no secret it was, never was a secret, but peop, people weren't prepared to, to, to do the mileage to get out there. Yeah. But now they know because they've seen, there's apps that tell us there's waves there. There's photos that friends are putting on, you know, WhatsApp groups. Yeah, yeah. So the knowledge is there. Right. It's, it's um, so people get out of bed and come. Right, right, which right. Which is fine, you know. So, um, you're professionally, you're a uh, vice principal. In a, what, what is it? What is, how would you describe a professional? It was assistant principal and curriculum coordinator at this school in Sai Kung. But um, due to COVID, our, our numbers have gone down. Yeah. So our budget bottom line got a bit tighter. Yeah. So this year I've stepped back a bit, taken a pay cut, and um, I'm curriculum coordinator. And we're surviving without a, an assistant principal. Got it. So, have been for 10 years or so, the assistant principal slash coordinator, but this year, just coordinator, and it, and then now I get Fridays off right. to go surfing. Let's go for a surfing, So, life guys. has tilted upwards in that. Yeah. 
Oh, and something else you notice that you described the monochromatic. This is all winter time. Right, right. This right. is why the skies are grey, the yeah. trees have no leaves. Sure. Because this all only happens in winter. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do in the summer? Go to Bali <laughs> <laughs> when COVID's not on. Right, right, right. But or when the, the I mean, I, I've heard many people talk about how uh you know when the tide is up you're you're on your paddleboard you're you know you're definitely on the water yeah yeah but that's just getting ready for the next time right that i can go surfing right right which right. i love every second of it mm -hmm. but my main aim the main aim of the game is to be surfing wow. so all of that paddleboarding and swimming and being on the water for you know each day mm -hmm. is about getting ready for that um, but yeah it hasn't happened for a couple of years so but look again look where we are so yeah. it hasn't been too hard to bear sure praying for praying for typhoons you're around kids your mentality and your mindset is a little bit non unconventional in the sense of the conventional the idea is you know, you go out, you, you get, you make your life, you do all this other thing. It isn't to kind of shape it around surfing. So that's unconventional to hear. Have you inspired a fraction of the kids that you work with to be, to become young surfers? In Australia, it used to happen more because we, you live in a beachside suburb in Australia. You surf. Yeah. You don't some play rugby some play soccer but mostly you surf yeah so if the kids knew their teacher surfed yeah that, that they were out there but then you know every christmas you'd be getting presents from their dads who make fins right or, right, or, right, or right. sell repair kits for surfboard nice. everyone's sort of everyone's following the party line yeah. in certain places where i've lived in australia but here yeah people come in and come out but there's Hong Kong is a place of opportunity. So the young kids surf, you know, they play rugby, they they shop in and shop out. Yeah. I think it's young people these days, yeah. they don't sort of lock in on right, things so right, much. Right, right, right. But have I inspired, um, no, but more, more inspired sort of older, uh -huh. you know, like Chris, who you know. Yeah. I think you know Chris, yeah. Chris, uh, I no. think I owe him like a thousand dollars. Do you? No, I don't know. No, no, he's, 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 there's been different Wait, people. Who lives in? Uh... Oh yeah, he used to, yeah, and he's yeah, got yeah, the little yeah. surf shop out so on, I know. Yeah, okay. on Tap Moon out here. I, I want to talk about something. Um, right now, we're talking, and <clears throat> just to add a little bit of of color, and 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 so okay, so we can hear the like the, the, the audio. The, the birds are definitely bleeding into the audio, which is nice. But as we're talking. My view is of this exposed seabed, I guess, or, or, you know, the tide went out. And then, so, I don't know if you noticed, but right over there, you can see these small animals who, that they kind of seem to lift these two claws up into the air with, like, these little white paddles. And I, it's very strange because they're, like, lifting these white little things up to the sky. And it looks, oh, yeah. maybe they're baby crab trying to pick something out of the sky. Can you see that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's amazing. So as we're talking, good, I can see all these you, little Rand. tiny little crabs just kind of reaching for the sky or something. And off you go. Go check it out. Go check it out. They're really yeah, small. They're, they're tiny. Yeah, they're just tiny little crabs. They're, yeah, but it's cool how their how their claws just seem to reach up to the sky. Well, they're grabbing the things that are biting us. They're oh, okay, okay, okay. Grabbing the midges. Good for them. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, they're doing a good job. <laughs> oh, they're just doing this lovely little... Is this amazing? Thing. How come I've never noticed that before? <laughs> this is my little bit of mud. <laughs> this is yours! This is my mud. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so... We... Yeah, they are. They're still doing their... Is it amazing, though? They're doing their synchronized dance. It looks like a synchronized go. swim. It's amazing. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. They've definitely got swimmer's arms. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so using that as the segue, let's go over to the next photograph, which is so sweet. So is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like subscribe and share.
Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting.